Yo, this is it on the place. Pokemon X. We are in Santa Loon Forest, and we are together with Shauna, who will be healing our Pokemon. So this is a good way to capture Pokemon and to level up a bit. So let's go around here with uh, Shauna. Let's head left a bit, see what we can find. This will lead to a dead end, huh? All right, I guess I just have to save my progress. I don't forget what I've done so far. Yeah, good tip there. Save a game when you can. Get an antidote. Very important if you get poisoned, you need an antidote to cure the poison or it's gonna tick down until the Pokemon fades. Sadly. Well, Pokemon appears. Who will it be? A Weedle. This is a bit special because in Generation 6, Weedle and Caterpie are in Pokemon X and Y. However, they're in version exclusive. So if you're playing Pokemon Y, you will not be meeting Weedle, you will be meeting Caterpie. Same way I won't be meeting we uh, Caterpie in this game, I'm going to play both X. Ember. Hit. And it's going to KO the Weedle. Diamond drops. Not know what to do about that little Weedle. Let's see what else we can get here. A potion. Not bad. Let's pick up the potion. Let's see what else we can finally capture. Remember. Your Pokemon get healed by Shauna, just talk to her to have her heal your Pokemon up. Not a Fletchling. Not that bad. But, do we want to fight it? Yeah, why not? I mean, we can get ourselves healed, so much just fight it. Ember attack on Fletchling. Dot off. Tackle. 4 damage is fine. Another Ember attack on the Fletchling. Burn it down to the ground. And Fletchling goes down. We want to level up modern Pokemon too, but we'll see about that. Yeah, I yeah, know, Shauna. You'll heal my Pokemon whenever I want to. That's fine. So far, I'm doing good. Ah, yeah, this is something I'm looking for. Do you remember those monkeys from Generation 5? Panpour, Pansage, and Pan. Uh, Panpour? Pansare, Panpour, Pansage. They're all here. They're wild Pokemon, and I want to get myself a Panpour. So I want to get a water type. Scratch this Panpour down. Ooh, that's a critical hit. Let's do it one more time. I wanted to get this Panpour in my team. Oh. Whoa, critical hit again? No. Play nice. Yay! Aw, oh, attack fell down. Okay. Panpour's so cute. Look at this smile. You be mine! Get in my Pokeball! Yes! Let's see. You be mine. Please? 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 Yes! And four is ours! Victory! Haha! -ha. Very nice! Finicking as well goes to level 9. Very nice in the port. Yeah, Panzer and Pan Sage are here too, so if you want a fire type or a grass type, this is a good way to get him. I recommend getting them for your uh, counter to starter. So we have Pan Poor. The water stored inside the tuft on its head is full of nutrients. It water plants and using its tail. Ah, that's so cool. That's so cute. I wanna keep it on my team for sure. Hey, heal my Pokemon, please. Thank you. Because now Pan Poor is full health. I really wanna have Pan Poor on my team. Probably Pidgey will be replaced early on because I wanna keep Fletchling on my team. I wanna get some Generation 6. Pokemon in my team for my let's play. What else can we fight in this episode? Whoa, speaking of which, here we have Pan Sage. Maybe we should capture this one too because then we have ourselves a grass type. Tell me nothing about bad about that. Let's do a scratch attack on the Pan Sage. Yay! Dance around! I'll do another scratch. Damage. You know what? Let's capture Pan's Edge too. We'll go for Panzer, but we already have a fire type, so I'm gonna skip. Probably will be skipping a Panzer. Sorry, Panzer. I will capture you though if I had some other starter like Chespin or uh, Froakie. But now we have Pan's Edge as well. We have fire, we have grass and water, we have flying types. We have them all! Yeah! 
have Pen Sage, a grass type monkey. It shares leaf on its head with a very looking Pokemon. These leaves are known to relieve stress. Oh, I don't really need those. I really need those. That'll be making my life so much better. Yes, please heal my Pokemon because Pan Sage needs to be healed. Let's check him out. Here we have Pan Sage as well. Let's uh, switch him. Pidgey. Check out the summary of Pan Sage. Or Pan Panpori. Okay, that's pretty good stats. Nine of each. 19 health. Sassy nature. Likes to relax. Fleshling is a hasty nature. Love to sounds. And now I see the stats boost, of course. We see these the stats here on the color. So, those are nature has no static this changes. But uh, for uh, Pan Poor, he has increased speed, reduced special defense. And for Fletchling... No, oh, they're, they're different way around. Okay, so red one is increased, blue is decreased, of course. So, Sassy Nature, increased special defense, reduced speed. And Fletchling, increased speed, reduced defense. That one is actually really good. Pan Sage has no change increase. He has a hardy nature, so he's uh, neutral. It's pretty nice though. We have a lot of variety on the team already. We have Fire, Water, Grass and two flying types. I like this. Very good so far. Oh, Serena. Oh, they are observing. What's up, Trevor? Yeah, no, but I already have a healer. Okay, so Tierna wants to battle. Let's battle this guy. Hold on. Hold on, second random dude. Okay. Look, I found one, and I gave it to you. Ooh, a paralyzed seal. Very nice. Paralyzing can be a pain in the ass, so it's good for have a paralyzed seal to survive those paralysis effects. Let's go battle a trainer. Come on, Scatterbug, let's powder this punk. Scatterbug? What's that? Youngster Joey! Whoa, youngster Joey, hello! You here too? What you have this time? Oh, it's gonna be a Scatterbug. This one is a new one. This is the bug Pokemon of Generation 6. Of course, it has early evolutions, and it has a, like a butterfly evolution in the end. So with Ember, on Scatterbug. Was a one hit KO already. Pretty sweet. Scatterbug goes down. Well, the XP was really high. Fletchling is next. Let's change our Pokemon to get some XP. Let's get in Panpour. Let's get in with our new Pokemon, Panpour, in this battle. Yay! This is the Fletchling. Let's get a scratch. Which is okay. Tackle. Whoa! Looks like the uh, Fleshling has more attack power than I have. Okay, be careful. Oh, I got the growl. Really bad. Attack power goes down. Another scratch. Okay, do more. Two scratches, I think. Growl again. Try again. Another scratch. Oh, one more. Tackle. This time. Scratch. Yeah, it goes down. Well done, Pan Poor. You get your first victory. 36 XP. And halfway to level 5. Cheer up, Skeddy, but we lost this time. We'll get the next one who comes along for sure. Confident, at least. Heal my Pokemon, please, Sh Shauna. I have a battle, so I need to get myself healed. We can move on here in the Santalin Forest. Let's go down here. Oh, here comes a wild Pokemon. Another Pan Sage. It's good for me for training purposes because I have a fire type. Let's burn down this Pan Sage. Ember. One hit KO. Poor little Pan Sage. I feel bad doing that, but I have to get XP. See what else we have here. 
Well, Pokemon appears so will be. Oh wow, a Caterpie! Hmm, that's kind of weird. I thought they could need Caterpies here. Oh yeah, do Caterpies can come in X as well. I, I, f I forgot about that. Hmm, okay, that was my bad. I thought a cocktail key was exclusive to to Pokemon uh, Y, but I guess that was only a certain parts of the grass where it was uh, the only with Caterpie and Winter. Okay, well, never mind. They're pretty much exclusive different ways, so they have different appearance rates. Let's take down this Caterpie. Okay, I'll do the second hit. And we move on. Yeah, Pokeballs. Thanks for another Pokeball. Shun Shun is all nice. Go down here. No trainer. You poked me for a shark. Ooh, what do you mean by that? Does she have an electric type? With less Anna. Anna has Pikachu. Yes, they even changed Pikachu sound in this game to have the actual enemy sound saying Pika Pika. Eat this Pikachu, fire up! I'm a shock. Very high damage. Another ember attack. <laughs> Pika Pika! Bye bye! Level 10 Fennekin. Very nice. Yeah, I was the one who got shocked. Yep, too bad. Don't feel sad for you. Yeah, heal my Pokemon, please. I got a Thunder Shock, so let's heal up our Pokemon. There we go. What do we have this time? Ah, the Scatterbug. Maybe we should capture this one. We have a new Pokemon to play with. We can't use Ember because that will KO the Scatterbug. Let's go Scratch. That's good damage. Wing shot. Use my speed. That's fine though. We'll throw out a Pokeball. On to the Scatterbug. In the Pokeball you go. One, two, three, and capture. Very nice. At least we have a full team of six Pokemon. That's pretty good. Yeah, this Scatterbug on to our team. Scatterbug, Scatter Dust Pokemon. When under attack from bird Pokemon, it spews a poisonous black powder that causes paralysis on contact. Ooh, that's a nice defense mechanism for sure. Yeah, in my Pokemon place, my Scatterbug was just captured. Thank you. That's our new Scatterbug. Level 3. It has increased attack, no increased defense, but reduced attack. Hmm. More tanky, I guess. That's fine. I'm really curious. Yeah, I guess, just guess so. Now at least we have a full six Pokemon team, which is pretty cool. Our trainer. The best part about Pokemon Masters is that it can happen anytime and anyone, anywhere. Indeed. Last least. And she has a Weedle. Weedle, Weedle, Weedle on the floor. Time to burn you up and crisp that little buck. Ember, go! And down. Simple, quick, and done. Poor little Weedle. Next up is Bunnelby. I want that one. I really want to capture one. So let's see if I ever get one out soon. We get some XP for one of our Pokemon. Pampor, I want you in again. Let's bring in Pampor versus the Bubble Bay. There we go. Bubble Bay is out. Let's give it a little scratch attack. Scratch it away. Tuckle. Bubble Bay. Let's do another one. Scratch attack on Bubble Bay. One. Here. That's fine. Another squash attack on the bubble. Here again. This is 
faster than me. That's fine though. That means probably that will take a lot of damage in my next attack will attack. From Little Big. Oh, never mind. They hit this strong enough. Little Big goes down. 39 XP. That should be level 5 for Pamphor. Well done. I got to keep battling and training up my really awesome Pokemon team. Guess you have to do that. You have something in here? Oh, an item. Pokeball. Very nice. We only see any more Pokeball because we already used like five of them so far. Hey, stand still. Give me my Pokemon, please. Thank you very much, Shauna. Yeah, there's no Pikachu I've found here so far. I think the Pikachu is here, though, but I haven't really seen one. If I get one now, that would be kind of ironic. Nope, it's got a bug instead. It's gonna be a bit of a training fodder for Fennekin, so please, Ember away. Ember up, and Ember down, and that was a Skyder one in a single hit. Wild Pokemon appears, which one will it be? Ah, oh, here's the last monkey, Panzer. Maybe we should capture just because then we can complete our collection. Then we have Panzer, Pan Sage, and Pan Poor. All in one episode. Sounds good to me. Play nice. I won't be using Panzer though, because I already have Fennekin, and I only need another fire type. So that will be fine. I can capture those, we have in our collection, at least so we can say that this is going to be the Forest of Monkeys. Well, that will be my episode the title as well. Monkey Forest. Let's capture the pants here and complete our monkey collection. One, two, three, and here we go! Our pan collection is done, we have Pan Poor, Pan Sage, and Pan Sear. Let's check out the Pan Sear data. High temp Pokemon. Very intelligent. It rolls berries before eating them. It likes to help people. Aww, that's so cute. I don't want to use it, but I don't want to have more than one fire Pokemon. That's kind of a waste. We're about to exit the forest. So you're the first to arrive. Looks like my new neighbor is someone with a lot of potential. The way Pokemon move is just incredible. I want to show off some of that spirit when I dance. Tear now, could you think about something besides how Pokemon move for once? We're all here, let's go to Sentinel City! Yeah, that's cool with me. We all exit the Sentinel Forest, and that means we arrive... At Route 3, over the way. What are you all going to do? Well, I look for a Pokemon, of course. The professor did ask us to complete the Pokedex, after all. And furthermore, different Pokemon prefer living in different places. For another way, the chance to find different Pokemon than the ones in the forest. All about different Pokemon will use different moves. I sure want to see a lot of moves. What are you going to do, Serena? I'm going to go to Sentinel City's gym and challenge the gym leader. You see, Pokemon Gyms find out how good they really are by challenging the leaders in Pokemon Gyms. Wow, you sure know a lot. It's because Mom and Dad taught me so much. Here, I have something for you guys. Adventure Rules. I'm going to tell them 10 different tips and every trainer should know. There's one for you. Uh, thank you, Serena. If you're puzzled about something, try looking in these rules. Oh, well, this is great. I'm gonna spend some time getting a normal little chest pin. What are you gonna do, random dude? Guess we have to go and battle. But that'll be done in the next episode, so... Next episode, we're gonna go to Route 3 and enter Santaloon City. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. That's great for now, so see you guys next time as my journey in Pokemon X continues!